Looks like fun? It is. But building your community playground requires planning, work, and a little bit of money. It's a big decision that can pay big dividends. I'm Kelly at AAA State of Play Sales, and we're going over all your need-to-knows to plan out a playground. Where do you start? Outline your goals for the play area, ask around, if you can, get consensus and buy-in. Once we started putting out some of the prototypes, we had a couple different options and we put them up on a board and invited the community to come see the different um, mock-ups that we had been given. And um, people were able to tell us what they liked, what they didn't like. Everyone was really, really excited and now they just can't wait for it to be in. Who are you building the playground for? An HOA, a religious institution, childcare, school, public, private, children with special needs? Think about your target audience. How large of a space do you need? You'll want to measure it out. Is the ground level? If not, you may need to level it out. What's the soil like? Is there good drainage? The last thing you want is standing water inside or near the play area. Are there any possible hazards? Busy roads, retention ponds, streams, old or dead trees? Trees and nearby vegetation may provide shade, but what shape are they in? Old limbs and branches could be a hazard and may need to be trimmed or removed. Make sure there's access for delivery of equipment and construction. Are there any natural or man-made objects that may get in the way? What kind of flow do you want for your space? Is there somewhere for parents to watch and rest? What kind of amenities are in the area? Things like parking, picnic areas, and restrooms. Putting your playground closer to these features could increase foot traffic. Look around. What's above ground? Are there utility lines overhead or nearby? Do you have to trim or cut down any trees? One of our installers advises that you find out what's below ground early on. They also have to figure out what's under the land because when you dig holes you can find tree roots, bricks, concrete, an old structure was there. Uh, we'll run into that stuff all the time. And certainly call 811 as you plan and before you dig to avoid cutting into active utility lines and pipes. You'll be crunching numbers, making a budget. Is it for a few children, a school, outdoor park that's public or private? What will the play equipment cost? Who's installing? Consider regular maintenance costs. How will you pay for it? Line up your funding. We can help you with financing through a third party. If you're interested in additional grants or funding options, we have a website that's available 24-7. We're also available to help guide you through the practices and processes. You've definitely got to consider the, the target ages of, of children coming into the park and what is going to be best suited for the age groups that you see coming in on a regular basis. That's a big deal. There are three targeted age groups, 2 to 5 years old, 2 to 12, and 5 to 12. So plan on age-related equipment. Depending on those age ranges, you'll want different equipment. At this stage, consider any users with special needs. Will you need inclusive play equipment? Now the biggie! You've come this far. It's time to choose your equipment and structures. You can order as seen in the catalog or on the website, or you can even customize your equipment. Let's visit our friends on the design team for some important terms and great ideas. Starting with terms you need to know, we need to know. The fall height of a structure is the distance from the highest accessible point to the ground. This can sometimes be a platform or an overhead climber. A youth zone is a six foot area around the outside of a playground that is designed to prevent placing two pieces of equipment too close to each other. Changes, special requests, the design team has so many choices at their fingertips with customizable structures, colors, you name it, we'll try to make it happen. Playground structures traditionally consist of larger pieces of equipment that include decks, ramps, bridges, and slides. Standing equipment.
equipment is anything not attached to the main play structure. This can include climbers, swings, freestanding slides, and musical instruments. The design team can help lay out your equipment and make any changes to fit your budget, your space, and to make sure everything is up to code and all safety standards. Using the dimensions of your given area, we can design the playground to maximize both play and safety. Another big decision, your surfacing. Here are the three most popular. Engineered wood fiber. It's popular and it's initially the most economical. While it lasts longer than landscape mulch, it can break down over time and be tracked out of the play area. You'll probably have to replace it on occasion. Rubber mulch, which is made of safe, non-toxic, shredded, recycled rubber, is also affordable and comes in a variety of colors. It has better shock absorbency and is longer lasting. You may have to replenish on rare occasions. PIP, poured in place, is the most durable surfacing. It's spread out in layers, can have any number of designs and colors. It lasts for years and is easy to clean and maintain. PIP offers great accessibility and inclusivity. It also costs more. Your installation options will also impact your planning and overall cost. There are three main options for installation. Customer installs are all on you. It's the most cost-effective way. You need to consider your knowledge, experience, access to tools, and the number of people needed for installation. A supervised installation can save you money and worry. One of our experienced supervisors goes to your site. You provide the tools, labor, and equipment. Our supervisor helps you and your crew put it all together smoothly and error-free. With the professional installation, we do it all. Our crew of certified and experienced playground installers handle every aspect of delivery and installation. It costs more, but we guarantee a professional and efficient installation. I'm Kelly, and our team is ready for your calls, chats, and emails, or you could even stop by. The coffee's always on.